It's raining so much. We're gonna go drop off the little parcel because it's a bank holiday, so I need to do that now. Otherwise, I won't be able to until Tuesday, which would be too late, and Etsy will punish me for that. So we're doing it now. And I'm really happy to walk to the post office in the rain. I don't really mind it because it means someone has bought something in my shop, which is really nice. <laughs> Um, it's always feel good, so it's not a problem. Um, although the cup that they bought that's for someone's 21st birthday is was one of my mum's favourite cups that I had made and one of my favourites as well. So it's like bittersweet, a little bit like, oh, sad it's going, but also happy it's going to a new home. This is our workstation. So we've just painted the hedgehog with a little watermelon. I have painted this in the flamingo pink and I'm gonna use red underglaze on top. But I might do that after the bisque. Um, and then this is a pet bowl, which I'm going to paint a cat into. Uh, but I think I'm going to do some throwing Ready, first. Isn't it?
the bisque fire came out this is everyone at the studio's lovely work uh -huh. out of this lovely kiln i've collected all my pieces onto my shelves oh. Oh. so now we're going to move them into the glaze room and have a go at glazing some stuff um a few of them i have plans for a few of them i do not let's see what happens okay so this is all the stuff that i'm going to well want to glaze today i think i'm going to do all the transparent stuff first um because that'll just be quick dipping and then and all the dipping first and then there's a few things i want to paint which is actually just that really um so I'll do that last. Now I'm going to use the glossy white on the inside of this guy and I've used like a stencil like I did on this plate but on this mug here it's too big but I'm going to try anyway um, and dip it in a glaze and then peel off the stencil uh, but I think I might put shiny white on the inside of this one as well. We'll see. Definitely on this one. These are now all glazed and I'll go in and I'll like fix up those little marks. You just have to sort of rub them on the ones that use the tongs. So I've decided to put latex over this and then I'm going to dip it in a colour, peel it off and then use some other colours on this. Hopefully it doesn't peel off the sticker. Didn't think about that. I want to use this uh, cute little speckled cotton tail stroke and coat. So I'm going to try that. But first, I've been here for hours now and I'm starving so I'm going to have a snack.
My phone's running out of battery. But let's just get this glaze done. You've always got to stir your glazes really well because um, they separate like oil and water. Oil and water, you can't mix in together, can you? Anyway, oil and stuff. The oil will always like separate. Like hummus and mayonnaise and stuff like that. Um, peanut butter. You've got to mix back in the oil with peanut butter. Now, because I glaze the inside and I have it differently, I'm going to glaze this like this. And just dip it in up to the rim and out. Hopefully that's enough. I haven't used this glaze in a very long time, so I'm not sure the best amount of time to dip it in for. So I just did, what was that, four or five seconds? Then we peel the latex off. Excuse the strobe lighting, but after peeling, that's what we look like. So I'm just going to fix up the rim because you can see the glaze didn't fully set. I don't know what happened on the rim, and that's going to cause an issue. So let's fix that. It worked though. It, it makes it a lot easier to get it on. Do you know what I mean? I just kind of have to work it out. There's Kay's coming home. Painting his glaze ones. These little guys here. Oh, okay. Right. Those need to be wrapped up. And then okay. I've mopped yeah. the entire thing. I've yeah. very lightly put some plastic over mine, and then those will wrap up in a minute. Good morning. It is the next day. Uh, we were in the studio for like five and a half hours yesterday, which is quite crazy, but we did get a lot done. Um, so we're going to go to the big park with the dog today. Uh, give her a good run around because it's not raining, so that's much better. Um, and then I might go in and see if my pots are ready to trim. Really looking forward to the travel mug and doing a few more handle stuff and then i've got a little bit of painting to do and we'll see if i'm there when the glaze kiln firing comes out or that might be tomorrow on monday um which we'll be back in she's running around down there um oh she's chasing a fly okay <laughs> all right let's go to the park first but I look like I've just woken up because I have. I don't know if it's going to be too hot in a jumper today. But sometimes it's too cold. I don't know. Do you see a cat? Hello, Willow. She's scary. Ooh. <laughs> Six fell down in the tree, look. So they will come. Loads of them. They're <laughs> all over the park. They all want that one bag of crisps. They're still coming. It's crazy. Quick outfit change because it suddenly got really hot out there. Um, yep. Look at how much more sunny 
it is out today it's compared to the clips yesterday um, much better and means my pots will dry going to trim these and another one outside um, and then stamp. So we have finished the travel mug. I This was too wet when I put it onto this. So I don't actually know how this is going to turn out. If it's even going to stay together or crack or... I don't know. But it's a really nice size. It's uneven, which we love. Um, and I like the bottom. Should be, should be pretty good. Then I've just attached the handle to this guy. Um, he's super cute. He's got his little juice box up on this side, little bear, and then his little bum, well, tail. Um, the handle on this came out really nice. I really like that. This one was less difference in um, dryness. So hopefully that'll come out really well. He's gonna come out small though. It is gonna be a small mug. But I'm probably done today. Um, I'll be back in tomorrow and let's see. 226. So hopefully the glaze firing will come out this evening or tomorrow morning and we can pick that up tomorrow as well. And I've put this guy on the bisque, this guy on the bisque, and what we just painted today on the bisque. And then we've got these little the world. Alpaca mugs. They are on the bisque as well. Um, these are tests that me and my dad have been doing together to make some little alpaca mugs. So yes, I'm going to clean up now. There's quite a few people in the studio, so I'm talking less in there. Uh, but I'm going to clean up now and go home for the day. It's the next day. We're in the same outfit and. I just got a message saying that they've unloaded the glaze kiln so I'm going to walk the dog and then we're going to go in and see the results of all the stuff we glazed earlier and I think we're going to start making some new stuff as well. Oh I love the speckled on that. Mm. That looks really good bunch of stuff on here. I can't pick it up. <gasps> Here's our child. Okay, he's crying. <laughs> but 
I don't know, that's actually come out quite well. Despite the crying eye on that. So here we have this one in the sun. It's so cute. We've got some more of these. Bowl. This guy came out really cute. I'm very pleased with this plate as well. It's flat and it looks like I've used pink clay, which is really cool. We got the mug came out. And I've done some little charms here. And these did not turn out very well for the wind chime. This underglaze doesn't doesn't like me, so I might not use them, or I'll sand it down. I don't know. This didn't come out very even, but it looks nice. I love this, but he's got a weird little chip that I want to try and get rid of. Yeah. Got his little orange juice box. Very cute. Very cute. I'm making a proper mess. Nice. Gonna wax the bottom of this. So everything has been brought home and I'm kind of done. For this weekend now i'm very tired <laughs> but i'm going to do the final thing um needed for some of the pieces which is sanding um this is 400 backwards for you guys um but a couple of the pieces were done with speckled clay and that needs sanding down um on all the raw bits um just so it's a bit nicer to touch so I'm going to do that and I've taken pictures of everything and then I'm going to call it a weekend. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed a little look into the studio um, and doing some pottery with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.